Series one case. Oh. Guys, we got a 12 box hobby case. 2324 Upper Deck Series 1 hobby. Then give a case of 2324 Upper Deck Series 1. We should be expecting 72 base young guns, which by the way, you're not guaranteed the 50 young gun set. I've opened cases in the past where I've missed a couple. 12 base outburst silver. Four or five of those 12 should be young guns. Should be at least getting four with a high chance at five. Four base clear cut parallels. One of those four being a young gun, which our case hit. Six UD canvas young guns, so every other box there. Four UD canvas black and white. And one of those four being a black and white canvas young guns. Also case hit. 12 dazzlers blue and a dazzler's pink but before we end today's video this video is sponsored by gp sports cards be sure to check out wednesday night break going down this wednesday october 25th gp has a ton of breaks available including a 12 box team select for 23 24 series one a 12 box team random for 23 24 series one we got a team select for an inner of allure we got a team select for black diamond my box case of premiere a 20 box double master case team select for ud premiere there huge one there team select for an eight box of stature two team select options for ultimate including a 16 box master as well as other various mixers including a Mega Mixer featuring 2021 The Cup, UD Premier, a Mystery Jersey, and much more. So that's all on GPSportsCards.com. It's all going down this Wednesday, October 25th. So be sure to check out the site, hop in a break, and thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. All right, 2324 Series 1 case. This will be a four part series. I'm going to be opening three boxes at a time here. Well, I'll start off by saying this case costs around $16.35 before tax, $18.50 taxes all in. So before taxes, it's around $136 a box. And well, what should we expect in here? Going back to what should we expect in a case, I just threw up some of the more important things in here. There's obviously going to be a wild card every box but we should be expecting 72 young guns well i'll start off by showing the top five young guns here's the top five in terms of value at this point a week after release once again strong crop one of my main targets for this case break is actually to pull a parallel of one of the top guys as we should be getting one outburst silver per box and the silver young guns are 130 packs so we should be expecting at least four per case with like an 80 percent shot at a fifth of these outbursts these essentially replace french there is no longer any french there is no clear-cut exclusives either so keep that in mind for series one there also when talking about the outburst the luke hughes one one of one has been pulled. Obviously, we're looking for the gold one of ones, but a big one. Luke Hughes has been pulled. Very large asking price on eBay there. Don't think that's going to go for that much. Maybe 10% of that. Also, clear cut young guns or case hits. One in 144 packs. I'm hoping for a good name there. Of course, one in 50 shot. The player you want. I'm hoping for one of the top three guys. You get a canvas young guns every other box. Of course, I'm hoping for the Connor Bedard. Granted, that card's going to have a hard time holding its value, especially when his young guns comes out when Series 2 comes out. But just compare that to McDavid's number one draft pick card, which I believe was a much tougher card. Goes for a lot less than his base young guns. So just keep Keep that in mind with that card there. Yeah, I'm just hoping for some pleasant surprises in here. I had some pleasant surprises in my thousand bucks worth of packs video, so go check that out. But yeah, let's open up a case of 23, 24 series one. Four part series, three per. Let's get right into it. All right, box one of 12. It's a 12 box case that has not changed, even though the configuration has. And let's kick off part one, box one. 36 total packs for part one here. 12 packs a box, so three inserts per. There's a star zone, Marner. The reds in here are actually tougher than case hits for the star zone. Same with the rookie retrospective. Like they are really tough, the golds, but really don't go for a whole lot and first young guys Yaroslav Oskarov very touted goalie prospect for Nashville Predators still developing there Nashville already has a really good goalie but he's one of the big three goaltenders in here so there's Askarov more base there including McDavid okay I just took the top three boxes of the case there I'll do that for each part just one layer at a time there's Owen Power 200 by 85 superstar honor roll Bo Horvat and a canvas of Bjorkstrand and yes we're gonna get a crap ton of inserts when I did that case averages I didn't really bother putting any inserts that are just largely filler but we got William Nylander Dazzler's blue the pinks are tougher this year you're past you get like two per case now they're a case hit debut dates vincent yorio clayton keller honor roll okay of course looking for an exclusive young guns we'll see how many exclusives we get in this case i'm hoping we get at least one because if we don't that might be a bad sign of aggressive overproduction because in years past exclusives had stayed odds at one point in time for many years but over time you get fewer and fewer exclusives meaning they produce more and more i mean last year they canned ud game jerseys so they could essentially go wild with the production and i fear they may have but they're the crosby star zone maybe not for this particular product but series two for sure they're gonna go ham on it but Will Cooley debut eight. Jake Livingstone Young Guns. Okay, base. So nothing special in box one of 12 here. The case. Oh, we got our first Oper Silver. There's the Young Guns, but there's a JT Miller 200 by 85. We got a Superstar Honor Roll. A Marner there. Gerard Canvas. And it's a Durando because can't spoil it there. Dang it. But there you go. Arno Durando. Oper Silver Young Guns. So definitely do like these Oper Silver Young Guns. Should be getting four with a high chance of five in the case here. But there's the first one. Durando. Really open for one of the top three in the Oper Silver. We got more base there. Next pack up here. We yeah, special edition, Luke Evangelista, report card, Scott Lund, Cole McWard, Young Guns, okay, base, next pack up here, we 
Here, uh, another teacher's pet, Linus Olmark, Superstar Arnold Ovi, and a canvas of Victor Arvidsson with more base. Of course, I'd love a cool unannounced Easter egg, like the Fanimation. I've never pulled one of them, but I wouldn't mind one of them. They're kind of crazy looking this year, so I'll hopefully get one of those. But here's a Brady Kachuk Special Edition, black and white canvas, season 1 in 48, so they have stated odds this year for Sam Gerrard there. Then we got a Matt Coronado, Young Gun, so one of the better Young Guns there. Another really good player coming out of college. That's the theme with Series 1 here. A lot of college players finishing up their college careers, making their debut late in the year for their NHL. NHL team there and Coronado is no exception former first rounder in 2021 so there's Coronado more base so two young as I haven't pulled yet there still haven't pulled Luke Hughes there's Wyatt Johnston rookie retrospective Johnny Goodrow and Josh Anderson outburst silver so hey we got two outburst silver in that box so that might be a good sign that we're gonna beat the odds for the young guns there and get five but there's Josh Anderson outburst silver and more base next pack up here we got another young guns I'm really hoping to get a nice number of young guns here not expecting a one of one but maybe another one of those the outburst reds at 25 but star surge Kent Johnson stat box filler Eric Carlson and Cole Gutman, Young Guns, basic Young Guns there, more base. Okay, second last pack of the first box here. We got Teacher's Pet, Mika Rantanen, uh, Kevin Fiala portraits. Hoping to get as many brads as I can with these. Love to get a numbered one of these, but there's Fiala portraits. There's a Mackenzie Weger canvas, more base. And a file pack for box one. We're opening three boxes here, three boxes per. Let's see if I have, ooh, we got population count, which I did not mention, but they are back for this year. They are acetate this year. Hopefully get a pop one, even though I've heard of some of the pop one cards having more than one card, which is not good on Upper Deck's part, but we have a Young Guns back there. Real cool, Young guns so there's another pretty decent one there rangers young guns for will cooley there would be a pretty good power forward there for them well first off we got a nazan kajik special edition and here's the population count it's 500 so it's the second highest numbered one the thousands the highest number one but nikita kucherov population count 500 so this should be one of 500 there you go that's one of 500 there for nikita kucherov population count uh zero after the fact here looked at the cop the kucherov pop 500 just happened to notice that there's two population count one kucherov these are supposed to be one of one so that's not great there Supposed to mimic like a graded card case there, but Kucherov population count. And that concludes box one. All right, let's open up box two of the case here. That was a pretty good first box. So let's open up box two of the case here. Uh, go through the base fast. We got that box fillers, Lindholm, Robertson, Superstar Arnold. We have a canvas Young Guns. Yeah, Arno Durando. Canvas Young Guns to go with the upper silver there of Durando. Not the most desirable name there for sure, but there is Durando. Pack two, box two. We yeah, shiny card, Seth Jarvis, Star Surge. We got Matt Coronado, debut dates, and Elliot Denoyer, Young Guns. So I already pulled Denoyer, but there's another Denoyer, Young Gun. Okay, even though we should be getting 72 Young Guns in a case, you're not guaranteed to set. Hopefully, we get doubles of the top names. But on more than one occasion, I've opened a case and I've missed at least one or two Young Guns. So we got Nylander, 200 by 85, Mark Stone, Portraits, Troy Terry, Canvas, Base. Next pack, we got Breeze Off Special Edition, Teacher's Pet Aho. And we got the checklist. Luke Hughes, Matthew Nines, Young Guns there. So, 201 to 250. Base. Next pack up. I think we have a clear cut in here. Some. And maybe. I don't know. But we shall see. We got Jacob Peltier. Star Surge. Maybe not. There's a Levi. Debut dates. And Jackson Stauber. Young Guns. Who actually looked decent for them. I don't know if he has a future with the Blackhawks there. Drew Camasso is probably the guy. Harvard Sauber Blue is up with the team. But there's a Jackson Stauber. Good stint with the Blackhawks there. Son of Rob Stauber there. Former goalie. So, there's that. Or base. Next pack up here. We got a Tyson Forrester. 200 by 85. Jack Hughes, Superstar Arnold. Roll. Ovi, UD Canvas. I really love those jerseys there. Nice UD Canvas there. Base. Okay, about halfway through box number two here. We got another special edition. Matty Beneers. Just filler there. Oh, Yuso Parsonen. Rookie retrospective. Tristan Robbins, Young Gun. And more base. And that's why I just make a mess of the cards because they make a mess no matter what. I just made a neat pile and the pile fell over. So, Jason Rappers in stat box filler. Seth Jones on a roll. Canvas, Rasmus Anderson. Base. Also, four canvas per box. Should be getting 48 canvases. But there's other factors in that, like the black and white. Oh, hey, okay. I was like, that card looks a little weird. But we got Swagnificent, which is what they call the suit variations now of Sid. Just him there with the suit. Boy Latang behind him there. So, there you go. Swagnificent Sid. I mean, I pulled it to bring it recently and it holds for like 25 bucks, which is pretty good. So, I'm assuming this is a decent card there. There's a Brady Kachuk. Chuck, star zone, Aiden McDonough, Young Guns. He's down in AHL now. He did actually get a goal there against Calgary. But there's Aiden McDonough, Young Guns. Cool, Young Guns flow there. Kind of reminds me of Eichel's Young Guns. Celebrating his first goal, right? That was Eichel. But there's Aiden McDonough, Young Guns. Base case. Next pack, Series 1 here. Dazzler's Blue, Seth Jones. Teacher's Pet there. Jack McBain. Honorable Pasternak. Base. Two more packs. Box number two. Two, we got Ovi Special Edition. And we got, oh, black and white canvas young guns. Henry Thrun. He's a name, but he's on the Sharks defenseman. Not sure how many Ferks are going to be given, but black and white canvas young guns. Henry Thrun. I already put up a couple points this year for the Sharks, but there's that. It's got base young guns of Nikita Nestorenko there. And more base. So there's our black and white canvas young guns of the case. Those are case hits. Ooh, we got an exclusives, which is a good sign. It might be a proper exclusives. And we have a upper silver young guns, but how am I going to do this? Let's just remove all this base here. Let's show their exclusives here. It's a flyer. There you go. No. 
updates, so that's a good sign. We actually did get exclusives. UD exclusives, 81 of 100. So hopefully get more than one here. But there's just a base UD exclusives, no Kates. Has like the gold foil there, and the deluxe has like a platinum blue foil to it. The ones the 250. But there's Kates. Nice to see exclusives there. Dude, Teacher's pet there, upside down. Matt Boldy, upside down. UD portraits, and here's the upper silver young guns. It is uh, McCown there. Yeah, Hunter McCown. So dang. I'd say over two for the upper silver young guns. But there you go. There's a Hunter McCown outper silver young guns so dang still hoping to get a large name in the outper silver young guns but there's box number two all right let's open up box three and complete part one of this case i mean i can already tell opening these box by box they definitely made flagship feel way more substantial i would say i feel like we're getting something interesting every box that isn't just the young guns so that's a good sign there we shall see what we have in box three there's a stamco star zone teacher's pet sid david gust young guns who i pulled his outburst red of illinois guy playing for rockford good ahl player but definitely not a good one there even though i might get a call up but there's that next pack up here I gotta make a mess of the base. It's just the way it is. They're just falling over because I'm an idiot. But Josh Morrissey, Stock Box Filler, Cider, UD Portraits. There's a UD Canvas Checklist of Drysdale and Ovechkin. So that's cards number 1 to 90 there. Okay, base. Next pack up here. Oh, okay. That's nice. Went really fast into it, but we got a Young Guns Deluxe. Jacob Pelche. So good name there as well. There's the Deluxe. 150 or 250. Considering we already got base exclusives, good sign that we get plenty of number cards in here. But Pelche, again, has like that platinum blue there. Good prospect. Unfortunately, he's injured. Hopefully, he comes back. Has an impact. But that's a really good card there i would say these are better in clear cuts as clear cuts are one per case and if they print seven billion cases they're gonna be seven billion clear cuts divided into 50 young guns and these are just a finite number to 250 so i like these i hope they don't go wild with the numbering on here and have like number to 500 cards but they're the deluxe jacob pelche star search slavkowski spencer stastny young gun base young guns there okay that's a good pull there deluxe young guns uh one of the better names so i'll take that at least hot 15 i believe i had them in so there's miko ranton and dazzler's blue teachers pet vasileski point superstar on a roll next pack up here we yeah, that box filler Kachuk. Hey, there he is, the king. Connor McDavid. UD portraits. So, I don't know if that has any value, but yeah, McDavid wearing the crown there. Pretty fitting. So, that's a nice one there. We got Sanders canvas. Uh, Ridley Gregg canvas young guns behind McDavid there. So, good canvas young guns. Either every other box. I'll take Ridley Gregg. Top 10 young guns there, I would say for sure. So, there's that. More base. I mean, this is a good crop. A lot of room to grow with these players. So, uh, we got Pasternak special edition. Forster debut dates. And hey, Dustin Wolf young guns. I'd love to get a parallel of this guy, but there's a Dustin Wolf young guns nice one there more base like so far i'm pleased with all three boxes we got parallel young guns in every box two outbursts and a deluxe so that's your cuff 285 honorable bushnevich canvas of jake allen that's pezzetta there okay more base five more packs of part one case breaks so we have star zone austin matthews mitch Meyer box filler that'd be cool if that'd be nice in the back no it's not it's a bruin Una copenin young guns so there's copenin young guns case okay. definitely have to get my hands on a case of series two i'm really enjoying series one here we have that's Leski 285. I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do with Extended. As Extended is more known for having a bunch of random retro inserts in it. But on a roll Beneers. There's a Gensel Canvas with Sid. More base. Third last pack in this opening. Still haven't pulled a base clear cut. Oh, jeez. As I say that, there's one right there. But there's a Stutzla Star Surge. Got a Young Guns behind there. Lucas Rusek. Young Guns there. So there's Rusek. He's in AHL. I'd suspect his teammate, Yuri Kulich. You get called up. And he's playing really well in the AHL there. That's a 19 year old. But Lindstrom. Yeah, Isaac Lundstrom, base clear cut. So he's out right now, I'm pretty sure, but there's a base clear cut. Isaac Lundstrom, so you get three base clear cuts per case. Then you get one clear cut young gun, so four total clear cuts. There's Lundstrom, no more exclusives, which is kind of disappointing. But it makes sense, they added all these other numbered parallels. But the clear cut exclusives were really cool for the time being. I never had one, but there's a Matt Duchesne special edition. There's a Shalgren Ricky retrospective. Hito Hirose, young guns there, okay. And the final pack, part one of four for the case. Oh, we got outburst based here, okay, well... DB Dates, Luke Hughes, Honorable Taste Thompson, and Jacob Chickren. Outer Silver to finish things off for part one of the 2324 Upper Deck Series 1 Hobby Case. Yeah, guys, part one of the case. We'll do a recap at the end of the case break, but we got Askarov Coronado for some basic young guns there. Got plenty of decent basic young guns there. Of course, we got 18 there, if not more. Got a couple of canvases in there. Got the cool McDavid portraits. And then we have all these, which definitely makes the product feel more substantial. These are like just parallels, like the Outer Silver there. A couple of canvas black and whites, including Gerard and Henry Thrun there. Got a photo variation of Sid there. Magnificent. Already got four Outer Silver from three boxes, including two Young Guns in Durando and McCown. Got a UD exclusive of Noah Cates. Got a Jacob Pelche Young Guns Deluxe 250. Got one clear cut already, so population count could drop. So yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for a continuation of this game. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.